Chapter 29, git fetch. The git fetch command is like a careful version of git pull. When you run git fetch, it will connect to the origin and download new or updated data, but it won't make any changes to the DAG locally. To fully appreciate what exactly git fetch does would lead us too far down a rabbit hole, but essentially it is a non-intrusive version of git pull. So it will download, it will make sure everything is available locally, but it won't actually change anything. If you want the changes to be applied, you should merge them explicitly. To do so, you insert the origin keyword between the git merge command and the branch name to merge. If I make a change to the repository on GitHub, you can see that git fetch will download a bunch of data and git merge origin main will then merge it. Using git fetch is a careful approach because you first download the remote changes and then merge them. This gives you the option to take a moment between steps to inspect what has changed and decide whether you want these changes to be added to your local repository or not. But realistically, you're most often going to use git pull instead. And as it happens, that's what we'll be looking at in the next chapter.